Hello, gang. Welcome back down to the hospital. That's right. Ham's Clinic of Health and uh, Recovery. That's right. Uh, where we can scan you for problems you probably don't even have. Probably. Problems. <laughs> uh, last time out, we put in an extra doctor, which is really going to help us push through some patients here. We've got to treat 30 patients in a day, I think, to get a little uh, bonus. And um, we still have to open a clinic in any specialized department. Now, that's what we're kind of doing. We're working our way through that. We've got radiology sorted. Uh, let's go to this for a sec, please. So we still require a MRI, a cardiography, and a sonography. Uh, but we're going to sort of move away from those today. We might put them in a different section because we found a few patients, I think, last time. And it's been a hot minute. I don't know if they needed microbiology. Uh, I think it was uh, histology and microbiology. But we're going to open a couple of these today, if not all of them. Uh, so that's going to require us to get straight into building. I know. Look at that. Ham, straight into building. It's been a hot minute to... Uh, let me get... I'm going to have to probably get my head around this a little bit. I think um, I want to open this whole area up if I can. That's going to cost me... That much. Uh, I may as well open all of this up. That. I'll take it all if I can. Knowing that that's going to be our lift section. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Let's put the walls around. Uh, I'll take the dropper, thanks. Like, I haven't completely forgot everything. Uh, it's just that... Uh, with a lot going on in the channel at the moment, it's making uh, it's making time a factor for everything. I'm about to sneeze. I hope I edited that edited that out for all of you. <laughs> Otherwise, that was a bit rough. Right, I don't think we want we want to kind of open a lot of areas in here at some point. I might put a bit of a hallway straight down the middle that's going to open into this lift section. Although we were going to open this up, weren't we? So people get into the lift section this way. But the lifts may be a little bit longer. And remember, we got our emergency section here. So it's probably beneficial, in fact, if we just give ourselves a bit of a pathway. No, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'm going to leave it. You're going to leave it, Ham? Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Uh, okay, give me the drop out. We'll do the outside walls here. The walls, please. Okay, because that's what the outside of our host, our hostable. Uh, I, there were always kids at school that could never say hospital correctly, and they kept saying hostable, and man, it would drive me bonkers. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. Okay, so we've got a GPs there. We're going to open this up to be a corridor. So it's got to be one, two, three wide. That's kind of perfect. That ended up perfectly. And then another one, two, three wide here. So we can put in some more walls. Let's just do that for the moment. Uh... Knowing that we can go upstairs to remember people, so uh, we don't have to worry too much. Okay, so uh, if we got if we've got one, two, three, we don't really have enough space here for, but we will have enough space for rooms eventually. So do that for me for now. Okay, one, two, three. We might even just cut that whole corner out, which will be fine. And then one, two, three. Right, so we know that that's our lift area, right? So if we put a corridor that goes one, two, three down here. Right, perfect. We can then do something like this. So I can now get rid of this wall. Okay, and get rid of this wall. Uh, and I'm going to leave this shut for the moment until we get the lift. Think of it this way, like it's under construction. So when the people come, there's construction workers in here doing their stuff. So they've got it all closed off to the public. No one can get in. 
until necessary, but we will open that section up and we'll move some chairs around here shortly. In fact, we can start doing that now, I think. Uh, let's do that. We're running out of space, aren't we? That can just go there. Okay, Groovy Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Uh, let's get the floor in. We can crack on with what we've got to do mostly. Uh, okay, I'll just sort that mic out. I don't want to be too loud. but I'm kind of set up a little bit differently because I'm half in stream mode, half in uh, record mode at the moment. <laughs> Uh, floors, plates. Construction, is it under? No, it should be under here. There it is. And then give me the dropper. I'll take this one first, because we know that we're going to go like that. And straight. Uh, actually. One, two, three. So it's going to go actually up like that. And then another bit of a reprieve here, like so. And then just our white floor, thanks. Beautiful. And then we'll leave that white for the moment too. That doesn't quite look right. But you'll you'll get the gist of it later. When we've got uh, when we've got all this sorted out. Okay, cool. So that's sort of opening this section up now. What we have to do is we have to put in the laboratory. So give me the dropper again. Uh, we're just going to go like this in here for the moment. We are getting... We're down to 41,000. We should have enough money for these. Okay, so I want this. And we're going to put in microbiology first. Now, microbiology has to be, what, 4x4 four four minimum. Which gives us a good ability to... Um, we're going to make microbiology that 4 by 5 by 7 seems like a good number. And then we're going to make histology the same. And we've got hematology, but it's it's all right. And then another cleaning closet. Do they really need a cleaning closet? Shared rooms are not cleaners. Okay, we better give them a cleaning closet. Hey, I reckon that's why we're not getting the objective. But we're going to put in these anyway. I think we can sneak a cleaning closet like... Sneaking one in here probably would have been good, but we don't want to flood the corridors with that. So what we might actually end up doing here is putting in another set of bathrooms. Slash, we'll put in this here. For the closet. Tucked in this back corner. We might put in... We don't want to have to st have the staff walk all the way up there all the time. So we might put in just a tiny, tiny common room for the people down here. Although, and then, so if we do this. I'm just thinking there's not enough space for a bathroom then, is there? Okay, that can take up that whole spot. A bathroom would have been good down here. I'm thinking... What do you need for a restroom? Just a little like four by four, two by two, three by two would be perfect. And then the cleaner can just wheel in and out between there. Because it is the end of a corridor. What I'll actually do is I'll put a doorway here. So if I'm going to do that, why don't I do this? Uh, like this. Why don't I go cleaning closet? Can actually. The bathroom goes to there. No, no, this will go to there. Okay, like that. It's fun just trying to figure out and puzzle things around. A little, you know, like lots of buildings have little nooks and crannies as they build on, so I kind of like it. So then we'll get the wall, please. Get the wall, please. that and then we'll take uh, that one out 
Right, so that's the cleaning closet. Now, these biology labs, uh, whoops, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different here. Did I give them tiled walls, didn't I? I'm actually going to have them so they're accessible by doors between them. And you can have that on the inside, please. And that. So we'll get all the painting of the walls done now. It'll just make things a little bit easier also. That's That didn't need to be done. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do the bathroom in the same as what we've got that. So give me the dropper for the bathroom, please. Uh, and then give me this, please. Okay. Don't do that yet. Turn it. Spin it and win it. Yeah, cool. Uh... Finish off the bathroom walls. Cool. And then the cleaning closet plates. It's got this sort of darker tile in it, the cleaning closet. Okay, and then we've just got a little nook wall here that needs to be done, please. Right, so that's the walls taken care of. The floors. Uh, floors are that one, please, for that. And that one. Cool, and what I might do, because we don't, because these are kind of, sh I'll leave them. We might just get another cleaner. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's think about this for a sec. Doors. And windows. So, uh, door number one. We might put some other uh, more scan rooms down this way. And then we've got our emergency section which runs up this corridor. And more rooms up in here. Yeah, okay. That, that should work. Now, uh, we we want the um, we want things like biohazard doors. I'm thinking one door there and one door there, but then I'm thinking they can have an in between door between their rooms, right? And then they can have some glass panes. They don't really match those glass windows though, do they? Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll leave it like that. Okay, yeah, we'll put two in, or three. I kind of wanted three, you know. Okay, put three in. And then you get this kind of a look here, right? Where they can look through and see the lab, see the lab stuff going on. Cool, right. So, next thing's next. Let's get, uh, let's start with the, uh, we didn't get the floor of the bathroom, did we? No, we did not. We did not indeed. Okay, let's get the let's get the bathroom sorted. It's just going to be one of these bathrooms that has a single toilet vanity and stuff in it. Yep. Um, 
The dryer. Yep. And a plastic hamper, thanks. Ah, that's not accessible now. That works. Okay. Uh, do you want a mirror? Sure. And then they need a door also. Is there one that has bathroom written on it? No, just a white door. Cool. So that's the bathroom taken care of. Let's get this one. Get him a couple of shells for stock. Let's get them... A stainless... Uh, no, let's get them a cabinet with cupboards and then we can put a sink in for them. Like such. Uh, we'll get them a plastic hamper as well. They can have a door. It goes there. And they need the trolley, which will go in there. Right. Perfect. Okay, that's the cleaning closet. That cleaning closet is probably better than those ones, to be honest. But that's the cleaning cupboard. Taken care of. Let's get the staff room done. We're looking at us nutting through this. Okay, essentials will be... Let's get a kitchenette section in first. Uh, how do we want to do it? A corner one? Can you put a sink in a corner one? Okay, that one will go there. Why are you not accessible there? What's blocking you? Okay, that can go there with the sink. Okay, perfect. They can have a coffee machine. No, they can't. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if we put that there, we can put a fridge in there. How do we sell that thing? Okay, get rid of that. That was, that was getting in our way. No, we still can't put that in there. What is, is it the corner drawer? Okay, well, it was a good idea while it lasted, but it's just not working for us, so we'll put the fridge in there instead. Okay. Uh, the coffee machine can go here. Perfect. And then we'll get in a couch that sits there like that. Maybe a little glass table there. Okay, a couple of these chairs like that. We still need a locker, do we? And a door. Hmm, we haven't set this up very well. Okay, one locker. I, I would assume that they're not going to use this staff room too much. They can sit there with that on there. In the corner with the TV. Perfect. And just get a bookshelf on the wall. Like that. And then the doorway can actually sit right there. 
Okay, so that's our little kitchenette. So we've got a little staff room down here for all these people that are going to be working down around this way as well, just to pop into if they need to, if they don't want to walk all the way here, if it's full. There's a couple of spare ones, okay? I know they're quite cramped, but we, we really don't have a lot of plot on this space until we go upstairs. Upstairs is going to have a lot more room because we're going to op open up to have this whole square. So for the moment, it just is what it is. Okay, this is going to be... I'm going to put those like that and these like that. Right? Uh, right. Let's get that in the corner because that seems pretty good to have there. Let's get an analyzer there. Let's get some glassware. Let's get a laptop there. Let's get a stool there. Waste bins can go in those corners like that. I think a microscope next to that. So you can you can roll to your you can roll to your microscope and then roll back to your PC. Okay, that works. Sample fridges. We've got plenty of space in these uh these rooms, that's for sure. Sample fridges could sit. Like that. Because then they can reach right to that sample right there. Uh, let's get some uh, more desks in. I'm thinking a desk like... That. And then we, we can get a, a sink like this. A lab sink next to it. Right? And then some sort of shelving. So... Um... Hmm... We can get a printer on this side. And next to the stool analyzer. Okay. <laughs> next to stool analyzer, which is next to the sink where you're supposed to wash your hands. Hmm. Somehow, I don't know about that. That can go there. And that can go in that corner. I think we've got everything in here, right? Quite open, spacey kind of lab as well. So let's do the same sort of thing here. These two can work opposite each other. Let's do a bit of a spinner here. They can work opposite each other, right? Uh, the glassware will sit here. So they kind of mimic each other a little bit, don't they? Although, what are you going to have in that spot? A fume hood. Your fume hood can sit there then, right? That's where those bits of kit sit for them. We'll get you another bench over here, much like what we did there. Okay. Then you had... You can have that one there, and you can have that one there. Then you can have your sink. Your scrub sink here. I might even put... Oh, lab shelves. We didn't put any lab shelves in, did we? They're essential, surely. A couple of lab shelves like that. You've got to have a stool there. I don't think you need stools in every spot though, do you? I'm going to take that lab stool. I don't think you need lab stools in every spot. Um, There's something that I wanted. I wanted like the scrubs here, this thing. Scrub shelf to go above the sinks. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. I think we're... Oh, no, we've got this. Uh, this needs to go up here like such, does it? it? Needs to go on the floor. Can it not go on a bench? Just let me hang on here for a second. Can we sit this thing on a bench or not? No, it must sit on the floor. What are we down to? 18,000. That's okay. And we've still got to hire some staff. Mm, so I might get rid of that bench and we might put in this. Next to the scrub thing? I don't think about that. We'll put it next to the sample thing there. That way I can have a desk back, can I? Yeah, I can have a desk back then. And then I can put the printer on it. 
Cool. And you've got plenty of space for other stuff to go in when we need it. Otherwise, I think we're set for that. Got, uh, we've got a samples fridge and stuff. Okay. Looking Gucci. So let's get, uh, let's get some staff then, hey? Oops, we want to go to this. No, we want to go back to this, please. So we want to go... Here we go. Right, so Elizabeth Thomas, how are you looking? You're 47% biochemistry, neurology. We're more after biochemistry. Oh, this guy is really good. Is capable of operating ultrasonic... Oh, uh, ultrasonic sonographic devices we don't really need that so I'm going to take you but in here we're going to put um whoa yeah and you're cheap too okay and then in here we'll get a cleaner yeah Richard Robson yeah you can be the cleaner and then we should be set I think we should be set. <laughs> I don't know, but it's the end of the day anyway, so we're going to have to wait till the next day to find out. But there's something I want to do here, and I want to actually get our passageways. Corridor can be shit. Well, the corridors are shared anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? But I think it, it helps for the cleaner to know where he they have to clean as well. So let's say the cleaner has to clean that, that corridor area. I think that, that makes sense, doesn't it? But otherwise, the clinics are done now. The uh, the the medical laboratory section should be done. Can we go back to? I want to go. To, uh, there we go. So I think the best thing we can do now, because we're at the end of the day, is to speed up time. If we could speed up time, but up, I'd go to the next day. So, whoops! I didn't mean. To, I just banged the microphone. Apology. So we should be now ready to go. Okay, let's get let's try and buzz through to the next day if we can. Oh, oh, look at these two bonding over their new job. Employee has no work space. Employees no workspace will be idle. Find a sign workspace quickly. Employee will go home with that. Two. Ja, what do you do? You're a doctor. You do have a workspace. We have three employed doctors with their own offices. Hmm, that's a bit sus if you ask me. Right, can we get to the next day, please? Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, daddy-o. Let's see how this rolls for us, hey? Room, workloads... Okay, we don't need to worry about that because we're not open during the evenings at the moment. Okay, come on, team. Everyone file in and get ready for the day's work. Uh, is it this person that doesn't have... Oh, are they just late? Oh, yeah, they're just late to work. Okay, the doc here that hasn't come back... Okay, hang on a minute. Oh, I see what I've done. Pause. I see what I have done. Okay, I've taken away her... Um, taken away the space. There we go. Because I put the path through there. You're right, 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 right. All right we're all good. All good. You can come back to work now. Uh, did she leave us or we, is she still employed? Where, can I just have my employees for a moment, please? So we've got, uh, we've got Frank Clark, Brooke Lee. 
Right, let's assign you a space, please. Okay, cool. She, we got her back without having to employ someone. So that means we're good to go. She should come to work again now. All right, she's been called back into work. The cleaners are off cleaning. That's fantastic. Now with our laboratories open, we should find ourselves with the ability to have... Um... Hey, look at that. Frank Clark's leveled up. He's now a specialist. Go to Frank. Congratulations on becoming a specialist. Doctor's rating, 94%. Is there a way that we can make... Assigns, workspace, add employee to favorites list. I think there's a way to make him chief medical old matey, isn't there? Hmm. I think there's a way we can make him chief medical personnel. Don't quote me on that, but I think there is. Hmm. Supervisor none. Maybe he already is. We'll leave it. Oops. It's stuttery. Uh, looks like we've got our people being able to do stuff. Let's see. These guys are working down here, so that's good to know. Unless they're just playing solitaire again. In which case, I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get an IT specialist and to delete solitaire off everyone's computer. Unless you all do your job. Oops. Right, we are employing a lot of staff, so we need to keep these people funneling through. Do these areas need waiting rooms, though? I wouldn't have thought so. Let's just check that, because I'm unsure if they need waiting rooms. Uh, corridor, elevator, platform, cleaning, clean, cleaning, restroom, common room. No, they don't. They so say they should just work off when the doctors uh, send them there. Gotta hit, gotta stop hitting escape. Right, this is fascinating. I'd like to know if we're actually getting uh, patients. Like, what do you got? Shingles? 100% shingles? Snapping duckfish. That's no good. Alright, who's our next patient? Let's have a look. You, sir, what have you got? Potentially golfer's elbow. Uh, let's see what they're going to send for. Patient got incorrectly diagnosed. Accord according to performed examinish examinations, it's not possible for the patient to have selected diagnosis. Go to. Ooh. Okay, what can we do? We're currently going through an interview with forward and symptoms, which means we're going to have to open up. Surely the MRI or something else would have got ankle contusion, ankle fracture. How does an x-ray or an MRI not bring that up? Active examinations. Where are you at the moment? Uh, oh, you're here. You're getting an x-ray. Let's see what happens. Let's see what they come up with. Please leave your socks on, but take your pants off. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh, uh, yep. There looked like a break in that bone on the screen. Okay. Ankle contusion. I don't know how you're walking on that, but okay. So you can't have the wrong diagnosis then. You should be okay. These guys aren't doing much. This whole laboratory section is not doing a whole heap. But having said that, they will come in quite handy for other different. Patient can't be fully treated. Treatment for patients diagnosed is not available. Close, redu close reduction. Make it work quickly. The patient is getting ready to leave. Uh, uh, what is the... An orthosis is a device that immobilizes certain joint or limb that guides the range of motion. We can't do that. We don't have that ability. 
required room, doctor's office, observation room, trauma center, which we don't have. Traumatology. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're well off traumatology. Yeah, yeah, that's apologies for that. We're not going to be able to help you. You need a hospitalization, which we don't even have. No, oh, well, that's that. That's emergency, though. Regular hospitalization in a ward. Okay, well, that's something we're working towards, though, because as soon as we finish getting uh, radiology done next time out, so radiology will probably come down this way, and then we've got a bit of room in here, and then upstairs, when we go upstairs, so when we go to add a new floor, hmm, 14,000, how much is it going to cost? I don't want to, um, I don't want you to copy the floor, though. Oh, I haven't built it yet, have I? Or did I build it? <gasps> did I build that? Did I, did I just really build that? I think I did. Oh, well, it looks like we've got the second floor, so we're getting ready for uh, hospitalization then, I assume. That's quite funny. Uh, we may as well take out all of this stuff. Because this is not how the top floor is going to be. That didn't cost us anything to do, though. Okay, let's get rid of all these walls. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to do that because I wanted to have the whole bottom floor done before I did anything on the top floor, so... Uh, bugger on toast. I don't know how it's going to go when we extend the, the floors out this way. How hard it's going to be. I assume because we're already on the top floor, though, we should be able to just add floor. No, we can't. Right, so what about building... Do you want to add a new floor? Oh, okay. That's what we shouldn't have done. Can I do... Okay, we can do that. I'm going to get rid of that, though. Okay, that's that's good to know. That's actually really good to know. Okay. Well, okay. I did all that wrong. I, didn't, I pressed the button I shouldn't have, and we ended up with a whole bucket load of walls we don't need. Uh, but look, hey, at least we got the second floor sort of half up, ready to go for our ward and our uh, our intensive care unit. This is going to be there's going to be surgery up here, intensive care. Our lift is going to go in this gap here, so that's kind of good that it's copied that at least. Let's get rid of that. I want to see if we can put the lift in now. That way we can know we can work around it a little bit. So at least all, the, yeah, all the floors are different. I understand that, but look, hey, at least uh, at least we're good. How do we go down a level, please? Okay, so if we want to put our lift in now, what do we do with that? Okay. That's that. Here we go. Elevator. Oh, that's bloody perfect. Wouldn't you agree? Now, do we want two next to each other? So if that's going to be our passageway, one, two, three, then there. How much do they cost? Whoa, they're expensive. But that will allow us to put another one there. And I want to put it in now. Do I? No, I want to put it in there, actually, and I want to do this. Yep. But I'll leave a space there for another one. Because that where, that's where our wall goes out to, remember? I like this. The lifts are only one side of those, so even coming around this way is not going to help you, is it? But that doesn't matter because it's our emergency entrance. Uh, hmm. 
I'll leave that wall at the back there. I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. Yeah, okay. So that's what that looks like. Still under construction, people. Think of it that way. But that's what our, our lifts look like. That wall can go, actually. I know the vending machines are there, but then it starts to open it upright. You can see it starts to open all this passageway up. So you hit reception, you go around, and we might even put another reception here when emergency have to come in. But it means when emergency come in, we'll give them a passageway that goes straight to the lifts upstairs to um, upstairs to surgery and everything else. Right, so can I just drop the walls for a sec, please? Because I need to fix this again now. Uh, you lot can actually sit here. You're going to have to sit there. We'll clean this up before we go today. That way we're, we're prepared and ready to go for next time. Uh, what have you done there? What is going on there? Oh, it's already done. It looks like there's just something in the way. Visually. Oh, it's the symbol. Okay, got it. Uh, right, so next thing we have to do is just open that up. I wonder if we should just do that now. Um, do it now and then it's done. But hang on a minute. We could potentially put cleaning closets in here. Couldn't we? And we could free up a lot of space over here for more staff room. Uh, I'll leave it with you. Leave a comment down below if you think we should move the cleaning closet to here. Or leave it there. And maybe we can open this up to potentially more bathrooms. More space for cleaning. Or we just open it up as a as a through as a thoroughfare. Uh thoroughfare, sorry. Thoroughfare. Dyslexic idiot ham. As a as a thoroughfare. As a thoroughfare. Yep. Okay. Interesting. It'll be interesting to see what we uh, decide to do there. But you can sort of get a gist of what I'm going with here. Right? And what that started, that's going to start to look like. I think that'll look, come up really good. And especially if we get double lifts there. And then you go up and there's our lift just here, right? And then you got to imagine that this, is, this top floor is going to extend over the car park. So we're going to have plenty of space to be building. Even if we go up again higher. Yeah, yeah, it couldn't be treated. I understand. We'll get you next time. Don't you worry. Uh, but that's it. I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me today. I think we achieved a, a good amount today. We still need to get this clinic done, but we'll work on that next time with the rest of our MRI uh, jobs. Uh, and radiology really needs to get uh, MRI, cardio, cardiography, and sonography. Okay. Stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to the screen. Thanks for joining me today. And, um, uh, yeah, come and join us for some of the live streams that are going on at the moment. There's plenty happening on the channel, that's for sure. Plenty of activity of all, all sorts of games, shapes, and sizes. So, uh, uh really enjoying everything we're doing. Uh, stay safe. And, uh, I've been Van Ham. Get out of here. Bye for now.